Welcome back to Vladflix. Aloha guys. Today we will escape reality, dive into tiki culture and make three incredible variations of one of the most popular tropical flavored cocktails, Mai Tai. And before we make them, I wanted to give all this to one of you. We actually do this weekly, so for a chance to win this custom bar set, please be subscribed to my channel and let me know in the comments one, the most memorable thing that happened to you in 2020. Bad or good? I will choose one random winner and announce it in the next video. Let's go! Let's say you have an Atiki themed party and want to make a simplified home version of Mai Tai. First, we need to make a crushed or shaved ice. In the back or towel, we'll put a couple of scoops of the regular ice from your home freezer and smash it with something until it's completely crushed. Now let's take a mason jar instead of the shaker. We'll use any silver rom that you have at home, measure with something 2 ounces and pour it inside. Next, we need orange liquor. We'll use the most popular, a triple sack. Original Mai Tai require or dress syrup, but instead we will use only one drop of an almond extract. Don't pour too much since it will become the dominant flavor and you won't be able to taste anything else. Now for sweetness, add a simple syrup, squeeze half ounce of fresh lime juice, fill up jar with ice and let this Mai Tai experience a proper earthquake for like 10 seconds. Pour everything from the shaker inside any 12 to 16 ounces glass that we have at home and fill up to the top with crushed or shaved ice. For a garnish, let's cut a lime wheel and place it right on top of the drink. Now enjoy this very refreshing, citrusy and lightly sweet version of Mai Tai. Our pro version will be as close as possible to the one that was created in Oakland, California in 1944 at the Trader's Week restaurant. This time let's make a crushed ice by using a portable ice crusher. In the original version, a 70-year-old Jamaican rum was used, but we will use white overproofed one. It's actually pretty strong rum, so let's make sure to use a jigger. Now in a mixing glass pour 2 ounces. You can use Cointreau or Grand Marnier, but in the original recipe, orange curacao was used. Next, half ounce of famous orange syrup, which is really important ingredient in the Mai Tai. It's a sweet syrup made from almonds, sugar and rose water. Next is quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. Squeeze juice from one lime, no need to measure it, we actually going to squeeze everything straight into the glass. Now fill up shaker with ice, combine them together and give this drink 10 seconds of hula. Strain everything into the chilled rocks glass, put as much crushed ice as possible. For a garnish we need to use fresh mint sprig and plant it right in the pile of crushed ice. I tried it and felt for a second like I'm on the island, amazing weather outside and I'm surfing on the world best beach in Aloha shirt. But then I opened my eyes and decided to make even better and improved version of Mai Tai. I won't be crushing any ice for this one, I will use a nugget ice that doesn't melt as quickly as crushed or shaved ice. If you're planning to make a lot of cocktails at home, great solution to use one of the small portable ice makers that produces a lot of quality ice really fast. If you're interested to get one, I will leave a link in the description for you. Now in the mixing glass or shaker add 1 ounce of Jamaican rum. We will mix it together with 1 ounce of dark rum for complexity. Next is half ounce of orange liqueur Grand Marnier. Let's mix half ounce of Italian liqueur Amaretto that has a characteristic almond taste and the same amount of orgia syrup. Squeeze juice from one fresh lime, but don't get rid of the remaining parts since we will use it in a little bit for a garnish. Let's place a sugar cube inside the lime peel. You can place it on either side, I just prefer the inside since it will be easier to pour overproof rum in it. Well, you will see the whole thing in a minute. Tiki cocktails often being shaken with crushed ice, but I'm going to mix both cube and nugget ice for a medium dilution. And now let's shake it with the Aloha spirit. Strain everything in the tiki mug that looks like my face, fill up to the top with nugget ice, garnish it with pretty mint sprig. Now it's the time for a final presentation. Put a sugar cube in the lime, place it on top of the drink and soak it in overproof rum. Safely light it up with lighter and sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon powder on top. Big thanks to all my Patreon supporters, for anyone who wants to support this channel, Please, please, please check links in the description. And thank you guys for commenting on the previous video, Aviation Cocktails Home Pro Expert. Our custom bar set winner is Lara Loftar. Never be afraid to make something new and I'll see you guys in the next video.